you've added lights to the garden. That's right, Don. We added 134 lights to the garden. And almost every colour of the rainbow. Yes, we... Well, some people may think we did... We went overboard with the colour, but we like it the way it is. Oh, I think it's wonderful. How long did it take you to do all this? Possibly six months. Of course, I, I did it slowly. I, I didn't do it in one rush project. Yeah. I, I took my time and sort of experimented to see how they looked. And what's the reaction from people now when they see this fairy land of lights? It's like everything else. They can't believe their eyes. They say unbelievable and indescribable. That's what they always use. Uh. Looking at some of the technical bits and pieces here, these are all the dichroic uh, lights, the little, what, 12 yeah, the, volt? Dichroic, yes. And you must have transformers hidden everywhere. We've well, got 11 300 watt transformers. Absolutely so. amazing. There must be people at this moment all over Australia just looking at this and they can't believe that a garden can be so far away from reality, that this is a fairy land, it, it, words don't quite come to grips with it. Now, and what adds to this, the um, tranquility, see now, we're so close to the city, we're right on, on the, just over, over the hill, you're in the shopping centre, yeah. you come down here, you don't hear a motor car, you don't see a vehicle, we get the bird life, we get the wallabies coming up here, and Joey's on the lawn, racing around the lawn. I suppose, Mavis, most of us toil in the real world, but obviously Ben is off into a fantasy land that is wonderful. Every moment of his waking time, uh, he is thinking creatively and he he's just made like that. And of course, more so than with most gardens, it's totally Ben's creation. Every rock, every bit of mortar, every, every brick, all of the pumps, the water, the engineering, you've done it all, Ben. Well, we, we did it all, Don. What do you think about your good husband, Ben, for the work he's done? He's the most incredible man I have ever met, and I don't think there will ever be another Ben Mundy. I think you're right. How long have you been married? We've been married 59 years, Don. 59 years. Yes. And, and you're now, Ben, you're 82? 82 and a bit, Don. And still at it? Still at it, oh, yes. I've, I don't slow down. I just know I've looked to work. <laughs> <laughs> now, you're 82. You built this garden between about the age of 65 and perhaps 75, something like that. What would you say to people that think, I could never do something like this or I'm too old? Well, that's all um, in the mind. It's not reality. What you do, first of all, you want something. And then you've uh, got to program yourself to um, achieve it. And the most important thing about achieving anything to make the initial start and uh, no matter how large a project, project is, it's on a multiplicity of small efforts. Will he ever stop? <laughs> well, I, I, I can't imagine him ever stopping and I do believe that if he ever had to leave this garden and he had to go and put his feet under the table like most people do and uh, he would die. This garden to Ben is his blood. It is his life that he breathes. breathes.